Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning, dear students. I am Mushfika Akhtar Chaudhary. Welcome you all to the online class of Dr. Khastagir Government Girls High School. My dear students, how are you all? Hope you all are very well. As you can see, our today's class is for class 9 students. And the subject is English first paper, English for today. Let's begin the class with some pictures. So, look at the pictures. What are they doing? There are children in the picture and they are playing in the field. Again, there are two more pictures on the slide. What can you see in these pictures? In the first picture, there are three boys and they are climbing a tree. And in the second picture, there are two boys and they are playing computer games. Okay? So, from these four pictures, what can we understand? Yes, we can assume that it is about the pastimes of children. Okay? So, now definitely we can guess what our today's topic is. Yes, dear students. Our today's topic is Unit 2, Pastimes, Lesson 3, Change in Pastime and Lesson 4, Change in Pastimes in Bangladesh. So, dear students, after the class, we will be able to ask and answer questions, participate in conversation and discussions, read and explain charts and graphs. So let's begin reading the text. Open page number 26 of your English for Today book. Lesson 3 Change in Pastime. Childhood Outdoor Pastimes in Decline. My dear students, there is a text about childhood pastimes, and you all have to read the text very attentively. And I am also reading the text. Traditional childhood pastimes of climbing trees and playing conkers are in decline. According to survey by, by the RSPB, that is Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, it is a charitable organization registered in England and Wales. The survey shows that people under 34 recall far fewer such childhood outdoor experiences than people over 55, according to a survey by RSPB. People were asked which of the 12 childhood outdoor experiences they could remember. The answer included making dance, daisy chains, climbing trees, playing conkers and feeding birds. Four out of five boys climbed trees and the same number of girls made daisy chains. But the survey showed the numbers declining among the New Year generations. Some 15% more of those aged over 55 had these outdoor experiences in their childhood, compared with those between 15 to 34 years old. Some 92% of the public agreed that Experiences of nature were still important to children and 82% agreed that schools should play a role in providing them to all children. The survey has highlighted the positive impact of the contact with nature on a child's education, health, well-being and social skills. At the same time, there has been a decline in these opportunities with negative consequences for children, families and society, a condition now known as nature deficient disorder. Mike Clark, chief executive of the RSPB, will meet parliament members to urge the government to join other organizations in providing children with first-hand experiences of the natural environment. We believe these guidance should include the many positive impacts of children, to children of having contact with nature and learning outside the classroom. So, 
dear students we have completed the text now read the following words and write their meanings as you understand them from the context if you don't understand check the words from a dictionary our first word is conquer what does it mean conquer it's a noun and it's a kind of children's game the second one is dance den is also a noun it means a cave or a hiding place then decline it's a verb and it means polite refusal the fourth one is highlight dear students do you know what highlight means highlight is a verb and it means to emphasize okay then we have few more words the fifth one is impact impact is a noun and it means the effect or impression the sixth one is consequence it's also a noun and it means a logical conclusion the seventh one is disorder it's a noun and it means lack of regular arrangement and the last one is arch it's a verb and it means it means to to make an earnest request so we have completed lesson 3 now let's move on to lesson 4 change in past times in bangladesh here tia and anusha decided to make a survey on students past times in their class after the survey they presented their findings in a chart now look at the chart and read how they explain their findings so dear students there is a chart on the slide and it contains four columns Uh, there are columns for the names of past times such as playing games and sports watching television chatting with friends reading books or magazines gardening attending social programs playing games on computers others and there are columns for the percentages uh, the students involved in these activities okay now Well, dear students listen and there is a explanation of the findings given in the chart let's listen to the explanation hello everyone my name is tia my friend anusha and i are going to do a presentation on past time habits of classes 9 and 10 students in our school There are 120 students, 60 in class 9 and 60 in class 10. The classes have gender equality. Each class has 30 male and 30 female students. The survey shows that 22.3% of students in classes 9 to 10 like games and sports as their most favorite pastime. which is the fourth option given by classes 5 to 6 students watching television is the second choice by the first group in contrast to 31.2% of the second group it is noteworthy that watching television is the first choice of the second group a considerable number of 9 to 10 students like to chat with their friends and thus it becomes the third popular choice in the graph while this becomes one of the less important choices by the younger kids only 6.7% of the kids take it as their first priority it's interesting that both the groups like reading books 12.9% of students of classes 9 to 10 take it as their favorite pastime 
The number is 11.7% for classes 5 to 6 students. Besides, gardening is voted to be the fifth preference by the thrown-up group, though it is not that much liked by the younger group. Only 6.1% of the young kids are involved in it. This is interesting that though the higher number of students in classes 9 to 10 prefer attending social programs than students of classes 5 to 6. Yet, as a choice, it is preferred by the later group. It is the fifth choice for them, while to the older group it is the sixth. Young kids have greater fascination for playing games on the computers. The graph shows that as the kids grow up, they lose their passion for computer games. According to the graph, the ratio declines to 8.2% from 20.9% when the kids are students of classes 9 to 10. Finally, it can be said that the influence of television has impact on both the groups, but the more students grow up, the more they pass on to the fields or gym. So dear girls, have you all listened to the explanation of the chart? Remember, it is very important to know how to read charts and graphs. Okay, now you have some questions to answer based on the chart. So let's read the question and try to answer it. Okay. Our first question, what are the gender policy of the surveyors? Dear students, what should be the answer? The surveyors choose equal number of female and male students to the, for their survey. They have gender equity in their policy. Question number two. What are the survey findings regarding watching television? Yes. The survey finds that watching television is the first choice of the students of class 5 and 6 and 31.2% of them like it. On the other hand, 17.2% students of class 9 and 10 like to watch television and it is the second choice of this group of students. Question number 3. Which age group is more interested in socializing with others? Students of class 9 and 10 are more interested in socializing with others. 13.7% of them like to chat with their friends and 9.1% of them prefer attending social programs. And now question number four. According to the chart, how do the kids change their pastimes when they are grown up? What changes does the chart for 9, 10 reflect? Okay. Kids change their pastimes with the changing ages. For instance, young kids have greater fascination for computer games. According to the chart, 20.9% of them like it as their first choice. But as the kids grew up, they lose their interest in computer games. When they are in class 9 and 10, only 8.2% like it as a pastime. So these are the answers of the questions. Okay? Now, dear students, it's time for homework and you have to discuss with your friends about your pastime and their pastimes and then you have to make a chart on the pastimes of the students in class. So that's all for today my dear students don't forget to follow the rules of health. 
wash your hands wear masks and avoid crowded places okay thank you all